Good afternoon. There's been widespread condemnation of the murder of an off-duty police officer in a Belfast city centre bar last night. The officer, who was in his 20s, hasn't been named yet. Shane Glynn reports. The shooting happened at around 10 o'clock last night in the Parliament Bar, Belfast's best-known gay night spot. Two men, both of whom were armed, entered the packed pub and singled out their victim. A number of shots were fired, killing him instantly. The officer, a single man in his 20s, hasn't been named yet. The RUC say he was a constable and have confirmed he was off duty when he was shot. The killing has been widely condemned by politicians and churchmen. There can be no excuse for this sort of barbarism. And this, particularly as it carries with it the threat that it may plunge Northern Ireland into a very serious situation because this is the first murder of a policeman uh, in recent years. Les Rogers, chairman of the Police Federation, says he's shocked by the cold-blooded killing. This was a, a brutal, cowardly and cynical murder by whatever organisation has carried it out on a young man who was just socialising and enjoying himself. Uh, I feel disgusted by the whole thing and my sympathy goes out to his family. This morning, members of the Gay and Lesbian Rights Association arrived at the bar to leave a floral tribute. We think it's a dastardly act and we are utterly ashamed to think that anybody in the gay community might have had anything to do with this because this has been one of the most uh, cross-community uh, groups in one of the most easy, relaxed bars in all of Belfast and that anybody should bring murder into the heart of this scene is uh, shocking. It's the first time an RUC officer has been murdered since before the IRA ceasefire of 1994, though two officers, including policewoman Alice Collins, have been badly wounded in sniper attacks within the past few months. No organisation has yet claimed responsibility, though Republican terrorists are being blamed. The murder is bound to put increasing pressure on the already fragile Loyalist ceasefire. Regardless of whether it was the NLA or the IRA, uh, it has an equal impact upon the entire peace process. Uh, a man has been murdered by these Republican thugs. Uh, the objective of that murder was to push all of our people towards conflict. I think that at this time what is needed is leadership uh, to try and control the situation. The police are appealing for information about a red Toyota car thought to have been used in the murder which was found burnt out in the Lower Falls area of West Belfast. Shane Glynn, UTV Live. Good evening. The off-duty RUC man shot dead in a Belfast city centre pub last night has been named. He was 24-year-old Darren Bradshaw, a single man from Antrim. The INLA says it carried out the murder. Shane Glynn reports. Constable Bradshaw was shot three times at close range by a lone gunman as he sat at the bar of the Parliament pub, Belfast's best-known gay night spot. The gunman's accomplice, who was also armed, kept watch and threatened door staff, while a third member of the murder gang waited outside in a getaway car. It had been stolen last Thursday from the Ormo Road area and was found burnt out in the Lower Falls. Constable Bradshaw had previously served as a full-time reservist, but was currently based in the RUC's training depot at Garnerville. The detective superintendent leading the murder hunt confirmed he'd recently been suspended from duty. He's a recruit under training, but he's been suspended for duty for a short time now, yes. And can you tell us why? He's, he's subject of an internal discipline inquiry, which I'm not involved in. Now, this pub has received warnings uh, recently. Could you tell us about those? Well, the, the, the pub specifically not, but police get warnings about certain premises that they would maybe frequent in off-duty time and are often told about their personal security. And I believe that this public house was subject to one some time ago. But as far as I'm aware, it's not a current. This morning, members of the gay community laid a floral tribute outside the bar. Its owners, who didn't want to appear on camera, condemned the murder. In the past, we have tried to serve all members of the community, and in the future, we will also try to do this. We hope that someday incidents like this can be condemned to the pages of history. The shooting has also been widely condemned by churchmen and politicians, including new NIO minister Tony Worthington, who labelled it callous and brutal. This afternoon, after the IRA had denied involvement, the INLA admitted responsibility. It's the first time a police officer has been murdered since before the 1994 IRA ceasefire. The killing is likely to put increased pressure on the already fragile Loyalist ceasefire. 
every time that Republican murder gangs engage in further acts of aggression against the Northern Ireland community, then the closer we become to uh, full-scale conflict. I don't think the people of Northern Ireland want to see that happen, but it's clear that the objectives of these murder gangs is to achieve that. What loyalists must do is to show restraint. But at the same time, what must, must, what must be recognised is that this cannot go on forever. Shane Glynn, UTV Live, Belfast.